Welcome to TheNBI.com. This is John. This report is for the 18th, and you can see what happens when you have a little political strife. Perfect opportunity to ease off some of the overbought, though we really weren't overdone. We were getting those, these uh, pop-ups that started um, well, right over here last week. Of the 13.5, we had an immediate dip down, which resulted in a new potential buy, but then immediately ended up with the steel and um, cyan breaking below red. I mean, steel below the cyan usually is enough, but then you also pop up above plus 13.5, and it started early and broke below the 23.86. And that was just a matter of waiting, and like we talked about with the ABMs, now the turnaround is certainly the bottom ABM there, 23.73. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do anything before then. You're still above the 13.5 uh, with the orange. Not the greatest place to be. Typically, though, you can get a build back of at least a third or a half way into it. Uh, now, for the overbought nature of the NQ, that's definitely, this is a massive, uh, you could go back through a lot of history and not find anything this extreme with the uh, orange spiking that far. Some of it was just a lot of fear. I mean, you filled in positive extremes going all the way back uh, to over here, almost at that four. A little bit more would have completed uh, the full run of it. And uh, it was just getting um, pretty hefty, but you, you had to stick with it as long as it was staying with the cyan below red uh, at that particular point. And uh, it wasn't until we started to see the uh, breakdown below. And it's an easy one. Once you get... This is where the disparity between uh, some of the ranges, whenever you get way outlier, uh, an outlier like this, you get reversion um, back to the mean and the separation was getting to be pretty significant. Um, but it can stay that way for a period of time and it did. It, and this is just a quick, convenient way to uh, bring everything back into parity. Not to mention though, the, the Political risks are real uh, with an agenda freezing. The idea that, the, I mean, they're looking at some of the numbers for, uh, I believe it was the um, South uh, East Fed, uh, potentially looking at a 4% growth rate going on right now. Uh, some phenomenal stuff there. So that would definitely be a huge uh, spark to the market. Uh, but this turmoil certainly has led to the euro getting way back into the middle of the range uh, that we've been looking for. Um, if not even getting towards the high side of it. So uh, definitely confidence has been restored in believing that U.S. growth isn't going to happen. So that's kind of what that indicates because otherwise the euro should be suffering because they have abysmal growth going on. And of course, flight to quality, uh, no question about that. And then this 120 has been a huge pivot. Um, still should be moving lower, but it's an interesting thing what people are doing with uh, that yield curve and the potential for uh, inflation, but just it's it's pretty much an indication of this mantra that there will never be more than you know three percent growth um, again. So that's uh, what that pretty much tells you. Uh, don't necessarily uh, think that that's accurate, uh, but we'll see. Uh, oil. Uh, you know, this pump isn't going to last uh, very long. It doesn't appear to. Um, you're not getting a significant read of the cyan moving below red at this point. It's been decent as far as the ABM following it, but now it's just a question of if it breaks below that 998. You can follow it lower from there. And gold, um, we expected that spike. We had the orange underneath the red there. We had the uh, starting of the build crossover of um, yellow over the magenta is always a good one when you're turning around. And uh, this was just a safety reaction because there are some that just don't see any safety in buying bonds. Um, and gold is definitely going to be the safe haven in any kind of turmoil. So from an intraday standpoint, um, well, it started lower and kept going lower. Let me shrink that. I put the, uh, I always love these big volume because you really got to like shrink it down. I mean, look at the size of that. Um, so once the breakdown started, we ended up with a couple of little resets, but they were never any um, strength binding because we had such a deep shakeout um, collapses in there. But 
even the little ones that took up um, ended up having um, cell signals pretty close to right after them. So it was a straight downhill day with no real closes above the long algo. In fact, I don't think I have a long algo active on this one right now. Let's add it in there. It's got to calculate. And there it is, popped in. And you can see that um, just a couple of times, and it's hard because I've had to zoom in here because there was such massive amount of volume given the day. Um, but if we start to expand, you can see short algo, long algo, and pretty much consistently stay below it. We had a couple of pops above it off of uh, some decent buy opportunities that came through and you got well into the ABM, but um, wasn't enough to sustain it. And once you're below it, it's just a matter of uh, waiting for those uh, solid resets. We had a couple more, but they're not producing much to the long side. Everything's still been about retracing back lower. Um, and that's okay. It's good to see, though, that even within a major dump, if your bias is still the long side and you do get signals, they have enough to uh, keep it going, but they're just not sustainable. It's not one that you could just leave without adjusting your stops in a serious down move like this. As always, though, I'll continue to post charts and continue to update indicators. Should be having a new release shortly here. Um, there, they get that zoom back into where we can actually see where it's at. So even this most recent pop now has just retraced everything. It got overbought really quick into it. So it could be a pretty soft period, but I would expect that we're probably going to move back up to these highs uh, during the regular session. So that's what I'd be looking for on dips. As always, trade well.